is your First Alert 5 weather with Sam Schreier. Good afternoon, everyone. The wind is blowing. You saw it a little bit better. There's a couple flakes dancing around. It is snowing outside. It's just a little tougher to see on this camera lens. That kind of foggy look out to the distance is snow blowing in. There's not a lot of it. It's very cold, though. It is 37 degrees, but with enough of a wind. It's five miles per hour at the airport. It's like 15 at our studio. Trust me, it feels chillier than 33 degrees. And we're going to keep bringing in that chilly air in Pueblo. So it looks like some moisture's out there. Could be a couple flakes that are trying to blow into Pueblo. An east wind is there in town, so definitely thicker cloud cover with 42 degrees. Going to be tough to get much warmer than that, Pueblo. Here's some better snow. It's coming down hard in Teller County and Woodland Park. You guys are in for a snowy afternoon. Remember, Woodland Park, and we'll get to my forecast. I was thinking two to five inches, somewhere in there. Hardly anything into the springs compared to Teller County. And then you got Trinidad, who's seeing blue sky. It's a little chilly, but feels great. On our radar loop, so the snowfall is still focused a lot heavier up to Denver. We are getting those flurries, weaker flurries that move through Colorado Springs back into Fremont County. But some good snow is still happening up towards Teller County, Woodland Park, and Monument. We're actually still blowing a little heavier snow out towards Monument Hill. Remember, we kind of thought it'd be a diagonal right through here where we saw through the course of the day some of the best snow. It'll have trouble sticking at first, but then it'll start to look like Denver. Denver is seeing snowfall in really most of the region. On our future cast model, it's absolutely drilling it. We've got the snow on the model that's pinning it down from Woodland Park into Monument and then kind of the very northwest corner of Colorado Springs and just flakes everywhere else. So the idea is that we'll move this first little wave through. Notice how by 2 o'clock it actually kind of thins out and stops a little bit other than flurries. That makes sense to me. By the time we get to 3, 4 o'clock, we'll slide back in some remnant snow showers. Not very much accumulation out east of the mountains, so Colorado Springs doesn't look like much. We're going to have more snow and some rain mixing in from Canyon City to Pueblo. And then by the time we get to 7 o'clock, so this is when we start to pick up the heavier stuff in the wet mountains down towards Ryan Walsenburg. Pueblo, by the time we get to 9 o'clock, we're finally moving some bands of snow in from Canyon City to Pueblo County, but not much is left in El Paso County. And this starts to slide out of Pueblo and then finish off to the plains through the rest of the evening. Now, my snowfall, I kind of jumped past it here, so let me step off and run you through what I think is going to happen on a wider view. Then we're going to go back to our snow chances. Basically, we think that snow is going to kind of settle in in the Pueblo area to the wet mountains in La Vida, heaviest. So Colorado Springs, zero to two inches, two to five inches from Woodland Park into Monument, and then in and around the wet mountains, it's going to be four inches or more. But Pueblo, this evening, could be about three to three inches. Now, let's get a look at our seven day forecast. And for Colorado Springs, we are expecting, come on now, we're expecting some drier skies out there tomorrow. Chilly and sunny before isolated showers Saturday, scattered showers on Sunday, and then a little rain and thunder possible on Tuesday and Wednesday. Pueblo, we are going to see that rain to snow, mostly snow this evening, especially kind of around eight to nine, it should start to pick up. We're going to have dry skies tomorrow on Saturday, spotty shower Sunday, more rain Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm going a little long, but we've got some snow showers in Canyon City this evening. We're going to have some spotty showers and a little thunder over the weekend. Better chance of thunderstorms Tuesday, Wednesday. And finally, we go to Woodland Park, where I've got some snow and icy roads, very likely tonight. Rain and snow showers over the weekend, and then more rain to snow mixture next week.